So this is what you see in the third eye glasses, my do-it-yourself Google glasses. As you can see inside, this is just one side of the uh, lens, right? So what you're seeing is really my tablet PC that's connected to through the VGA, right? So as I put this on, um, and you can see me, uh, yeah, there we go, you can see me, right? Okay, that's what I'm seeing, okay? So let's talk about it. The six things that I actually learned from making one of these do it yourself do Google glasses. Hi, welcome back to educatetube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. I just want to update you on my do it yourself Google glasses. So, this is what I have learned from doing this experiment or developing this Google glasses. Um, I improve on it quite a bit, well, at least uh, to my satisfaction. Uh, one thing that I did uh, was that I reduced the weight of this uh, do-it-yourself Google Glasses. Remember, I call this uh, do-it-yourself Google Glasses that I made uh, third eye, right? It's not really exactly like Google Glasses because, first of all, it doesn't have the software interface like Google Glasses. And that's, again, you know, you can actually uh, install that um, on different type of operating systems, okay? So we'll worry about that later on. Um, secondly, it's not projected onto the glass like Google Glasses, but rather it's projected on the forehead. And uh, if I want to find information, I just look up quickly. Not, uh, you know, not this time actually from the previous uh, video that I made on Google Glasses, there's an improvement on this one is I don't have to look up too much so I won't strain the eye. Right, so let me um, point out six things that I learned from developing this uh, third eye glasses or the do yourself Google Glasses. One thing that I learned is that from the previous uh, model that I was working on, this one has a reduced weight. So actually, it's not uh, straining on my ear and my forehead. So it's pretty good. It's very pretty much comfortable. I mean, I wish I could reduce it further, uh, the weight. But I think it's for now, it's good enough for whatever technology I have. Number two, um, I find that using these Google glasses or third eye glasses, um, one thing that I realized it, if you use it too long, it strains the eye. And even with this one, um, if you use it for, you know, I say for about 45 minutes to an hour, staring at the screen, uh, yeah, it can be pretty uh, straining on the eyes, right? So I think Google Glasses, you have to be aware of that. By the way, the Google Glasses, they're thinking of selling it around 1500 but most of us would not be, be able to access that. At least that's what I heard from the, um, from the news, right? So maybe you want to develop this type of glasses first and uh, attach the video on this video, I'll show you how. And also on the previous video on the upper right corner, I'll, uh, I'll, I also demonstrate how I go about um, making one, all right? So you can either click on the upper right to see how I did from the previous uh, video on Google Glasses or just attach this video, there is a um, follow-up, okay? Another thing that I learned is that the, this glasses anyway is uh, you'll notice that it is not a uh, built-in operating system or the hardware. Uh, it's, a, it's just a uh, video um, display. Okay, So this glasses, and I think that's what it should be developed as. I think Google Glasses should be uh, not just for Android, but for Windows compatible mobile phones or I, iPhone. All right? I think Google should think about that because the reason it is, um, you know, you're not dependent on hardware operating system, uh, software and how we're operating system. So for example, this connection here I have, right? So it's connected to the VGA. Now I wish it was a HDMI connector, but I don't ha uh, there's no model uh, currently for this class anyway that has that. So I use the old technology. Um, by the way, um, I'm ordering a uh, micro uh, HDMI connector to a VGA. So next time I'll show you how to connect to your Android phones. Okay, for now I'm actually connected to the uh, tablet PC. It's about seven inch uh, uh, in uh, size. So it's a bit bulky, but this is just for experiment uh, to stage, like experimenting uh, how um, you know to visualize what I'm doing. All right. So in theory, of course, you can actually connect it to any type of um, uh, computer, uh, any type of operating system, whether it's um, Apple's products or Android, Google products, or any type of Android's uh, company that makes Androids or uh, Windows mobile or window computers. So it's very universal, so it's really compatible with any type of computer you're using. 
Anyway, okay, so you can see it's connected to, so you have this uh, Google Glass is connected to the VGA, and the VGA then connected to the computer. Right, next time I'll show you how to hook up your Android phone to this. But for now, um, let's continue on. So I mentioned about uh, reduced uh, weight size. I meant that I learned that from uh, this uh, Google Glasses, it helps a bit. And don't use the glasses too long, it strains the eye, right? Um, another thing is, I, third point, the third thing is I realized that uh, for me, I, I wear prescription glasses. So um, you have to tailor your Google Glasses uh, according to your um, prescription glasses. So what I do with mine, well actually you see, I sacrifice my glasses for this. Okay, so you can see I broke one of my old glasses, uh, the lens, and replace it, If I don't know if you can see that, right here. Okay, so I actually hot glue it into my goggle. Okay, this is a safety goggle by the way, you can get it for two bucks. So I, I hot glued it, so now um, I could see what's inside this um, video glasses. So it's prescription glasses, otherwise I cannot see it properly, right? It's going to be blurry. So that's why another thing that Google uh, Glasses will have to address. I think they already did that, okay? So be aware of that, because that's what I did with mine. So now I can see what's, uh, what's there in my glasses because uh, it will be blurry if I don't have it. Uh, fourth point, um, the key to the Google Glasses is I think it's the software. For example, you know Android, maybe uh, voice activated, right? It's very important. You don't uh, want, you want the, uh, the software to, you know, voice activated because you don't want to be, I, when I had a keyboard, for example, it's very hard to look at the keyboard and type uh, while I'm looking at the screen right on here. Okay, so it's, it's hard. So the technology for these Google, the video glasses or Google glasses or the third eye glasses is that it's all voice activated. Rarely will you have to use a keyboard. So that's a key to this um, technology is that it's all voice activated. You might want to, you know, from time to time to press a button. But other than that, the software is driven by voice. So in other words, you, you run your whole app based on voice activation. So for example, if I'm looking for a map, I would say, um, uh, you know, find near, uh, nearest restaurant in this area or something like that and it pops up, all right? So you don't want to be typing that. Or um, uh, the only time you might be able to type is that you, you, know, you open up your um, instant message or your uh, email and then you type. That's the only time. Of course, there's also software we can do uh, uh, voice to text uh, uh, translation, right? Recognition, I mean, okay? So that's the thing with Google Glasses or any type video glass like this one, it has to be voice activated. So I would have to install on my, for example, tablet PC, I would have to install a um, uh, Dragon Dictate on this thing or software related to that. And so I can control it by voice. Okay, so that's important. Uh, another important thing is that the device when it's hooked up should be a very tiny one, like a mobile phone. Because, you know, this is heavy. Okay, I'm carrying this. This is heavy. But because for demonstration purpose only, I don't have any um, window mobile system where it, connect, it can be connected to the VGA. So I end up using uh, the smallest version of the computer that I have, which is these uh, um, Samsung tablet PC 7 inch. Okay, so just for demonstration purpose only. Otherwise, you need a phone this size to be hooked up to here. That would be the ideal situation. And you want a, maybe a smaller cable than this one, but again, this is an old technology, so we'll go what we have, right? Uh, third, I mean, sorry, this is the sixth point, I, I think. The sixth point is that, I, this is what I noticed, that uh, because it's glasses, you have to clean it quite, quite often. For example, when you touch your screen glasses, you know, it gets smudged. So you might have to be uh, cleaning it quite regularly, maybe once a day or twice a day. Right, that's another problem with uh, these glasses. Uh, I guess that would be the same thing with a touchscreen phone, right? Except that um, touchscreen phone is not so obvious, whereas a glass, you can actually see the smudges and it can be uh, irritating. So that's about it, okay? So let's get started. I'll show you the attached video, how I actually go about creating this one, okay? Uh, again, um, the follow-up of the previous uh, third eye glasses that I made. So you can check on the upper right and uh, I'll show you now 
how I did this one. Okay, this is the modified up-to-date version of my uh, do-yourself Google Glasses. All right, let's get started. So here is the um, safety glass you can get for two bucks. You're going to be using that and uh, there are the video glasses that I actually trimmed down. I'm going to try to put it into my safety glass. Now initially I tried to put it inside, you can see there, but uh, at the end the final product actually I put it outside of the safety glass. Okay, So you can see that at the beginning of the video I actually have the um, video glass is obviously outside and that was the final but this is the uh, you know, first few tests I was trying to do to see how it's going to fit now I noticed that my video glasses was a bit heavy so I trim it down cutting down unnecessary plastics plastic okay so I'm trying to cut it out now be very careful because you might cut in through your other other electronic stuff components that might be part of the video glass and that would definitely ruin the whole video glasses you know, one of these could cost around $100 so, or more. Um, I bought this on um, uh, eBay uh, for, I can't remember, around 100, 150 So I didn't find a use for it. Um, not as useful, so I decided that's why I made it into a Google Glasses. As you can see, it's a little bit more, much more smaller and lighter. So I'm going to put that into my uh, video glasses. Uh, sorry, into my safety uh, glasses. So the la last step you want to do is to glue it in um, to the safety glasses, the video glasses. And that there you have it. It's pretty much completed. Of course you have to do the exterior, make it look nicer and all that. But good luck with making your own.